Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and this is the Friday Lego Let's Chat. We are kicking off the afternoon with another pick list on the Lego mock set designed by Grandpa Crafter and sent in as a lovely gift. And it is the West Hill Main Gate. And it is no longer something that fits on camera, so I'll just have to show you the box. <laughs> uh, it is getting quite large. Uh, and I am getting close to finishing this tower. So we are about here in the next step. So that's probably what we're doing today. Uh, I believe this is the next pick list. Uh, although, wait a minute, no, we're working on the front. Yeah, this is the, the, the guard house. Got ahead of myself. Got ahead of myself. But uh, this is what we did last week, which is uh, the base of the guard house. And that goes here on the build, which is just out of frame. So if I bring this in, this is going to attach roughly there. And I believe that we had finished pick list. Yeah, okay, that's where we are. It is huge, Sandy. It's very big. Uh, if anybody wants to see what it's like in scale, there's a picture of this book and the build on Instagram, on my Instagram stories right now. And there's also a link to this live stream if you want to share that around. And it's just at Joel Duggan on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, how come? <laughs> like, why not? You'll get notifications when I go live if you turn on notifications there. Also, my Discord gets notifications when I go live too. Lots of ways to, to beat the Twitch notifications, which are usually lacking. How's everyone having a having a Friday? Is it a good is it a good Friday you're having? Hopefully it's a good Friday. Not the good Friday, but a good Friday. That's it for black. White. There may still be some of this stuff in there. Two of these. I don't see the little plates. Oh, they're there. Brain trying to melt the satisfactory teaser from earlier today. Uh, I have not seen it. Uh, and I think what I'll do, because we are going to play satisfactory after the Lego stream today, is that I will watch it live and do a reaction to the final satisfactory trailer for 1.0. About 24 minutes. I watched like the first four minutes and then I had to come stream. So uh, if you haven't seen it and you want to wait, we can all watch it together in about an hour or so. Or you could just go ahead and watch it ahead of time and then form your thoughts and then we can all chat about it at the start of my Satisfactory stream. There's not a heck of a lot that I can think that we have to do in Satisfactory, like physically in the game. I do want to continue to check my, my notes and prepare and see what's up. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, two, four, six, eight, ten. 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have to say, the pick lists are a lot easier now that we have fewer bags of pieces. These are pretty yellow. Maybe we can hide them away.
I do like the quirky recorder in this song. <laughs> a little weird. We spoke about it a little bit yesterday. If you are new in the stream today and did not hang out yesterday, if you've seen the Minecraft movie trailer, what did you think? I think it's weird. I mean, Minecraft is weird, but like the trailer is really weird. Super fast, good to see you. Smalls one link. No, Smalls Inc. Smalls Inc. Am I saying that right? Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. I did not see a plate. Might be in another set. Tile, rather. Some of the uh, the sum of the teaser is is um, weird. Yep. There's the tile and the flowers. These are really tiny. We need two of the pink and one of the fuchsia, dark pink. Well, I'm going to have a lot of handy little bags for my Lego now, so once this set is together, it will be uh, nice to have some of these baggies for some of the extra pieces that come with Lego sets. Uh, just finished digesting the Citadel Cafe discussion on Rings of Power. Yes, there's a new episode of the Citadel Cafe out right now. Uh, Johnny, Pixelriffs, and I sat down to talk about Rings of Power for almost two hours. Interesting thoughts, says Superfast. We'll consider giving it a watch. I've so far steered clear of Rings of Power due to it playing a little fast and loose with the lore. Uh, from what I've seen and read about it. So here's the problem with that, Superfast, is that... Very similar to Star Wars, The Lord of the Rings has some very serious and very dedicated fans out there. And for whatever reason, they don't seem to be as harsh with something like the Peter Jackson interpretation of Tolkien's work. Because it is an interpretation. And they seem to be pretty harsh on Rings of Power. I was not... 100% sold on season one. Uh, it, you know, I, th I thought it was good. I thought it was slow. I thought there was some very odd pacing choices. But so far in season two, they seem to have listened to fans to an extent, but also stayed true to what they wanted to do as a vision. Um, Part of the reason I think season two is going to be better is the same way that I think season two of Mandalorian was a little bit more enjoyable. 
because season one of the Mandalorian was this journey to get Grogu. And once that mystery was solved, you then had the great pairing of Grogu and, and Mando for the season two. And I think that in the same way, there was this giant buildup to Mordor and Sauron and, and the rings of power in the first season. And they took the entire first season to get there. And I think that people wanted it to happen in the first three episodes or four episodes, but there's so much that they want to tell in this broader scope that I think they had to treat season one as a precursor. And unfortunately they weren't clear on that communication. They didn't set those expectations. They hyped it up like it was going to be this epic adventure start to finish. And it was more of a chapter one, right? Uh, I st I do think that season one is worth watching. I'm I'm sad I did not go back and rewatch season one before season two. I may still. I may still. Um, so in that light, because of how negative people can be online and how polarizing, uh, I would say that you are not going to waste your time watching season one of, Ring of rings of power even if it ends up being not your favorite or something that you feel doesn't do justice to the lore um the fact that it is so visually stunning so immersive the fact that the performances from i'm not going to remember all the names but morpheth clark is fantastic uh so is elrond and so are all of the dwarves so if nothing else you're going to get a great set of performances and acting and and character development so i say go give it a go does anybody else share that opinion in the chat of 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 uh, rings of power season one two four six eight ten thirteen Blast Jordan, hello, hello. It's funny that you use that command, a wizard is neither early nor late, because we were just talking about Lord of the Rings. One of my favorite quotes. True Purple, what's up? There's also um, super fast, if you want to go back and listen to the Citadel Cafe, if you go to the citadelcafe.com and you type in Pixel Riffs, then you will get a link to the episodes from season one where Johnny and I talked about Rings of Power season one. Uh, there are three episodes in total. The first episode was with Johnny. I believe the second episode was with Steven. And then the third episode is with Johnny again. Uh, but there is a middle one where Johnny didn't, didn't come on. So I did three episodes of Rings of Power on season one. We will more than likely do three episodes on season two. Probably three, three, and two in terms of episodes. It's 20. Four, six, eight, ten, thirty, two, four, six, eight, ten, forty, one. Uh, I'm missing something.
two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Uh, one of those, two of those, one of those, two, twenty nine, two, six, two, one, one, eleven, forty one, thirteen, one, one, one flowers. Cool. Reading the fall of Numenor. Cool. Is that is that an official Tolkien book? Johnny was thinking that we're going to see the fall of Numenor in uh, in the show. Both Johnny and I are in the same sort of headspace, too. We have, um, we had a pick this week actually called Realms Unraveled, which is a YouTube channel. I highly recommend it. Really good explanations as to what certain things are in the Tolkien universe, like what's a Balrog and what does Sauron look like and um, what do the Rings of Power actually do? And they talked about... Um, all 20 rings in that series. I shouldn't say series, it was a single video. That's part of the series. The last couple of years, there have been a few books that covered some of the major events from the Sil Silmarillion, Fall of Numenor, Luthien and Beren, and the Fall of Gondolin. They're edited by Brian Sibley, who is one of the leading authorities on Lord of the Rings. They're as close to the official as they could be. Oh, that's cool. Super fast. Thanks for sharing that. These are what w Rings of Power could should have been, but you haven't watched Rings of Power, so how do you know? They focus on specific events with dramatic and compelling storyline. I think that's what's happening in Rings of Power. And they could have acquired the rights to them rather than just the appendices. Yeah. Well, I think the, the bottleneck there or the, the catch-22 is that if they acquired the rights to the almost official but not official books, 
then they would also be under the same sort of double-edged scrutiny from fans out there at Prime saying like, well, we know you're not sticking to the true Tolkien lore because you've only acquired the rights to books that are not official, right? So I think it's pretty hard to say that this is what the Rings of Power should have been if you haven't watched Rings of Power. Did I count those wrong? Two, four, six, eight, ten. There's supposed to be 41 of those, I thought. I must have counted wrong. Mind Trip Media with the Lurk and 100 Bits. Thanks ever so much. I really appreciate it. Meto, good to see you. Thanks for the Lurk as well. Go to your first self-written research proposal blast. That's amazing. Good luck.
Thanks. It surely is a, a lot of work writing and referencing every tidbit, and I'm hoping it's enough to convince my professors that it's worth doing. Hey, good. That's awesome. I, you know, like I say, good luck, but also like I hope you um, give yourself a pat on the back too, because that's the kind of work that I was never very good at. I I do have a minor in art history, but uh, not in my wildest dreams did I ever think about a career in academia or teaching at that level. Uh, the amount of just checking and double checking and knowledge and all that stuff. I just, I was always the artist, um, never a bad student, but not later in years, uh, as I got to be a young adult, I just, I, you know, stopped wanting to be kind of like a people pleasing student and wanted to just learn about the things I, I really wanted to improve, like my art and drawing and the skills that I wanted to use. But I've got several friends that are um, extraordinarily smart and can work in high level academia. And I really admire the amount of work and like life dedication that it requires. Ta-da! Pick list one twelve point one. Twelve point one. Not one twelve point one. And there's a twelve point two. I feel like we're gonna need both. We will have to do that one too. Hilariously, despite working in academia, I still have to design figures from scratch and make them look visually pleasing, so sort of still an artist. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> We need any of these? We do not. Twenty nine of these. Oh my gosh. This is a big piss pick list. Two hundred pieces. Maybe do we need all this right away? Yeah, probably. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Some of these are longer. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve.
those. Those are the solids. Now I'm just on to the plates. Hey, Cosmic Dancer, how's it going? Yes, I would say the pink parts are indeed for you. Special delivery. Four by one, two, three, four, five, ten. That's everything. Ten of those, two of those, four of those, five of those, one of those. I didn't get that. That's the only other thing I'm missing. Yeah. Big list. <laughs> you throw them, I'll catch them.
What did I say that was? 29? 23. Super fast, thanks for the lurk. Word Nerdify, good to see you. Hope you're having a good day. It's always nice to see regular faces popping in for these Lego chats. I like to think it's a chill way that people can spend their Friday afternoons or evenings, I guess. Depending on where in the world you are. I'm surprised that fits on the table. This might be one of our biggest, maybe not in piece count, but certainly in piece sizes. Might be one of our biggest lists yet. Now I think we're ready to go. Now you need another table to build on. Yeah, no kidding. Fixing bugs. Are you working on coding word or define? Something I am woefully behind on. I really wish I had taken more computer coding and stuff. Straight into the flowers. That's step one. Like regular brown. This.
Never to be seen again once the roof is on. And that goes on the 6th on the 4th. On the 4th. Two, four, five. And then we've got two. Did I not grab two of those? Oh, those are the red brown ones. It's really hard to tell the difference in the instructions. It all starts and ends with flowers. It's fair. I guess we'll just go with the flow. I feel like that should be regular brown, not red brown, but the pick list tells me otherwise. Now these I feel are probably regular brown. Uh, yeah, things are good. Just, it's been a very busy week. A uh, couple of podcasts with the new Citadel Cafe out with Rings of Power with Johnny and new Spawn Chunks out this week with Johnny, of course. And then busy with the gym, running errands. It's back to school here in the city, so everything is busy. Everything you do takes longer. Like I went to Costco for groceries and it took a long time. That kind of stuff. The weather has also been all over the place, and we're expecting a lot of rain this weekend.
Word Nerdify says, I live in a beach town. People are escaping the heat to the beach, so errands here are difficult also. Yeah, that would be, that'd be hard too. I hear it's really hot in California. 104, I saw a couple of friends post the other day. On the flip side, not saying I'm glad my kids have gone back to school, but I did appreciate a few hours of silence as they've been working. As I've been working today. Yeah, I imagine Cosmic. I've Weirdly, I've also appreciated the silence of not having my air conditioner running all the time. Or even a fan. I feel like it's been, um, it's been nice that way. Uh, I'm not ready for that next step yet. So that looks like it is exactly the same thing. And we've got these pieces. I don't have two more of those. There was not four of those in the pick list. So those are clearly red brown. So I've used the wrong ones. So the pick list is wrong. Should have trusted my gut. So then that goes like that. We grab this one. That goes on like this. And then we do six guys.
Well, that's my first hour on stream, so I'm going to take a break. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I, I step away once an hour for a few minutes. Gives me a chance to grab another cup of coffee, glass of water. And uh, as I mentioned, we'll be streaming some Satisfactory after the LEGO stream today. Uh, but I can't imagine this will take another hour. We'll probably be another 30 minutes or so. So I'll be back in five or six.
All right, let's see if we can continue on. Eight of those. Now, it's impossible to tell whether these, they were red brown on the pick list, I'm sure. Reddish brown, reddish brown, reddish brown. Yeah. You not managed to catch any of the satisfactory stuff that's come out recently. I'm looking forward to starting a new save, though. Very cool. We're going to be watching the new teaser trailer video from today and doing a reaction on my satisfactory stream after the Lego. Hey, thanks very much. I haven't had waffles in a really long time. I am more of a pancake guy than I am a waffle guy. No, that's not right. I'll sometimes get a waffle at a, um, no, that's not right either. Oh, crap. I'll sometimes get a waffle at a restaurant, but Generally, if I'm at a restaurant and it's fancy brunch, I'll go with like a fancy French toast. Uh, and then four of those. Uh, Wait. We keep on getting instructions for two more of these and I just don't have them. Why? Was there supposed to be four? No, it says one. And then the other ones, there was only supposed to be two. And we have lots of the red brown, so I'm assuming that that's what these are supposed to be.
to 10. Those are different colors. I do know that the brown is supposed to be spruce and the red brown is supposed to be dark oak. Six. Three, four, six. Those. Two of these. And two of those. It's funny, building a roof like this in Lego makes me want to build a roof in Minecraft. There's something really satisfying about getting a successful roof together. They're very tricky when you first start to play Minecraft, and I think there's something really satisfying about finishing them up. Uh, this has got a police sticker on it. I don't know if there's others. Maybe I should try to find one that doesn't have one. I shouldn't say sticker, it's like printed on the brick. Pizza has been ordered. I'm jealous. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll order pizza. I always feel bad about going for a big grocery run <laughs> and then ordering pizza the next day. What do you have on your pizza, Cosmic? What's your favorite topping? Or toppings? Like, what, what's your go-to pizza order?
I'm going to figure out where these all go. Normally ham and pineapple. Cosmic likes the Hawaiian pizza. Is that like a big thing in the UK? Even though it's a Canadian invention? Sweet Sandy is also a pineapple pizza person. Wow. The two of you stand judged. <laughs> Getting hard to put the pressure on here. Hooray for Lego Day, says McScrewgun. Hello. Happy Friday. I'm realizing, I think, as I'm building this, that I never finished this roof. Bendigo Blue, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. What were you doing on stream today? Appreciate the support. Uh, Cosmic likes pepperoni on the pizza now and again. Keen on a meat feast as well. Yeah, I like an only meat pizza as well. I do really like green pepper on pizza. So I tend to go for works. I tend to go for pepperoni, mushroom, Green pepper, onions, and Italian sausage are my go-to. But sometimes I've got, there's a place locally that does a really good works, and sometimes I'll just go with the works. I'm not a big salami fan, and I think that that's on the works here, so it's like, it's okay, it's fine. The place I go to, uh, Alexandra's Pizza up the road, is um, they don't skimp on the toppings, which I really like. Not a big thing in the UK. Ask little Cosmic Boy if pineapple belongs on pizza and he'll empathetically tell you it does not. <laughs> Emphatically, sorry. Um, yeah. No problem, says Bendigo Blue. Just a little bit of Minecraft. Very cool. What were you doing in Minecraft, Bendigo? And again, thanks very much for the, the support. Folks, if you're coming in with Bendigo's Raid, uh, my name is Joel Duggan and I stream and podcast full time. You may recognize my voice from the Spawn Chunks podcast. 
if you're a Minecraft fan. And if you're a Minecraft fan and you're not part of the number of people that have downloaded the Spongebunks podcast, where have you been? What are you doing? It's free. Spongebunks.com. Blast Jordan says, pizza recipe for me is sausage, meat, bell peppers, olives, onions, and more cheese. I'm not a big super cheese guy. I like enough cheese, but not too much cheese. Olives, I can take or leave. Uh, I know friends that really, really don't like olives on pizza. Uh, and, and I am okay if they do not want them. Um, I like them. I would maybe not ask for them. There's very few things I won't eat on pizza. Anchovies is one of them. Yeah. As a matter of fact, no fish on pizza at all. Please and thank you. Now, where does the other one of those go? Called for three, and there's not three. So they were missing a step. Getting all the classics with the Minecraft soundtrack today. No, where does that go? The end.
Mexico Gun says, my wife is Greek. We're trying to <laughs> hybridization crossbreeding program aimed at tall Greeks or Irish who don't sunburn. <laughs> it is a wobbly roof, Sandy. I agree. Blast Jordan, good luck with that proposal. Take care. How's the work on the iron farm going? Uh, very well. Uh, we've done all the work on the farm. It's now uh, landscaping the mountain. We took a good chunk of the mountain down yesterday. If you want to quickly catch up, there's two screenshots on Twitter. Uh, one from before the stream yesterday and one after. And yes, Cosmic, there is now pink dye being made. Uh, there's red dye, pink dye, and white dye. And poppies all being made. And it looks like we're getting roughly between four and six of each an hour. Well, that doesn't work, does it? What's going on there? Why doesn't that connect? There were no villagers harmed in this iron farm, no. A zombie lost its, its legs.
Well, that's a cool solution to that. So we've got four of these. This is the little signpost that hangs off the front of the building. Got one of those. Two. So there's a barrel on the end of it. And the black here is representing the metal bands around the barrel. And that goes here. That's cool. So what are all these other pieces for? Oh, they attach on the window. Cool. So before I attach it, <clears throat> that's what it looks like. Got some variety happening in the roof a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that on stream. Assuming some of this will straighten out once it gets attached. And then we've got the two points here where it attaches. And they coincide with these two points there. These just keep on falling off. And that this should have been done before that step. Be my guess. That goes like that. And then the final bit is one of those. Looks like 10 of these. Two, four, six, eight, ten. One of those and one of those. And I don't know where those are supposed to be. I don't know whether I miscounted. But the instructions have been wrong a couple of times. That could be it. Four, five. And I really, uh, awesome.
Oh, for me. Well, that doesn't line up now. Assuming this goes here. There's a gap, so I don't know. That's as good as it's going to get. So you'll have to check out Instagram to see the final look of this because it just won't fit on camera. I'm going to stop that before it collapses again. So that is full guard house attached. And that's pick list 13 for next week. And that looks like it's gonna be the North Tower. Very cool. So this barely fits on camera. And again, you'll have to check out Instagram for the full, uh, full look. Uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Void presence, it's hard to move around. Hard to move around. Uh, Cosmic, I'll talk about my plans for Satisfactory in the next stream, just to be able to wrap this up. So once again, this was sent in by Grandpa Crafter. Thanks very much. You can uh, check out the VODs for the Lego set. Uh, I keep them in different playlists on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. So you can... Uh, Check out each playlist for the year, or you can actually uh, watch each set within its own playlist. I do the same thing for my satisfactory of my uh, Minecraft videos. The Minecraft videos are not separated into separate playlists per project, but each year, the Citadel 2022, 23, 24, etc. are all there. Follow on social media to get pictures of stuff like this uh, with a little bit of a better angle because of the, the downward camera. We don't always get to see the front of these builds, depending on how big they are. If they're small, I can hold them up and rotate them around, but not the case with this one. Stay tuned. Uh, don't go anywhere. If you're hanging out here for the afternoon, we are going to switch over to Satisfactory and stream that for the rest of the day. Talk about what our plans are for 1.0. I'm also going to watch the teaser video from today that I have not seen, and we'll have like a little live chat and reaction to what's going on there. Hopefully that's something I can do without getting a copyright strike. I, I think that a reaction video is is within creative commons uh thanks very much to sweet sandy for the moderation and to all for supporting with the 100 bits and other things today thanks to bendigo blue for the lovely raid always good to welcome in new people to the chat 
There is a new episode of the Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast out this week. They are both free wherever you listen to your podcasts. They are both also available on YouTube. The new episode of the Citadel Cafe is not quite on YouTube yet, but it will be today. Uh, so um, just listen on your favorite podcast app. The Spawn Chunks has a video component. Uh, Johnny and I are on camera for that show, uh, but we do audio only for the Citadel Cafe, at least for the time being. So uh, thanks again for watching, folks. Stay tuned. Uh, I'm going to restart the stream just so that there's a separate VOD for the satisfactory content. I'll be back in about 10 minutes after a decent little break here. Chat amongst yourselves. And uh, if you're not coming back, I'll just see you next time. But uh, do stick around for Satisfactory. I think it's a fun time.